Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So this is going to be kind of a weird video, in fact a very weird video. So here we can see a Dell Optiplex 990 motherboard and what happened to this is it suffered liquid damage. If I pick it off, off its uh, paper plate here, uh, you can see there is quite a bit of like odd looking stuff there. Um, it looks a lot worse than it is because I spilled a bit of rub, or well, kind of poured a bit of rubbing alcohol on it to kind of clean it off and hope that would work, but it didn't go quite as planned. So, um, in this video, and also I'm talking quietly because I am in my uh, kitchen and it is 2.07 a.m. right now. Um, don't ask about all that. Um, but what we're going to be doing is we are going to be cleaning this off in the sink and then heat gunning it. Uh, to dry it off and so yeah uh, before I go any further UXW Bill put his computer in a dishwasher I believe and it still works to this day as far as I know um, also I removed the clock battery and everything so there's no physical power in the board but yeah so we are going to be cleaning it off with tap water so you can see I have it sitting on a paper plate also uh, that's my brother's new laptop. Is it? I believe is an XPS 15, uh, but that that's beside the point. Um, so we have it on the plate here, <clears throat> and I'm just going to be washing this area off right around here. Um, <clears throat> so what else? There was another thing I wanted to say, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, let's go for it. So once again, before I continue. Um, this is really experimental. I got this board along with a Core i7-2600 uh, for $40, four zero. So this is virtually no loss to me if this breaks. I have a few more 1155 boards. This one, I do like it because it has the dual PCIe 16X, but honestly, I've never used those at the same time. Though I did have plans to do it up until this happened. Um, so hopefully this works. If it doesn't, then that's disappointing. Um, but yeah, so it's it's really purely experimental. So keep that in mind before you yell at me in the comments. Um, also, sorry about like the messy kind of like grubby looking sink area. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is turn on the water and let it heat up um, to a temperature that. Um, can like help the oil run because the liquid that was spilled on this was salad dressing. That's my fault. Long story that I won't go into. Uh, I'll leave it in the video description as to how that happened. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started on this. So I let the water run for a little bit. You can hear it in the drain. Um, it's at a nice, probably, I want to say 80 degrees, 85 degrees. And I don't want to have it like burning hot because that'll probably damage the board. Um, but I'm going to have it like pretty warm, uh, like I said, to help, I guess, for lack of a better term, melt the oil. So, yeah, moment of truth. Well, not actually, that's for later. It still feels pretty oily, so I'm going to keep doing this for a little bit and uh, continue the video when I'm finished. So I'm back in my bedroom now. And uh, the board is drying off. Let me just reposition the camera. Kind of uncomfortable to hold. Uh, but it actually looks really nice in my opinion. I mean, probably doesn't work anymore. Um, but it looks a lot less um, oily. Well, it doesn't look oily at all, actually. And I think I got to this uh, pretty quickly. I... Um, I told you that I would tell the story of what happened uh, in the description, but it would probably be best to tell it on camera just to make sense of what's going on. So I was working on this document. This is a uh, server uh, component list. Check out that price tag. And um, I my actual file server, my Mac Pro server on the other side of the room over there, um, went down. And so... I was eating a salad and I needed access to my keyboard at a very, at like a comfortable uh, angle where a salad would be, a salad would be blocking it, um, blah, blah, blah. And so I'm rambling at this point. 
And so I set the salad down on my bed on top of this board by accident, and uh, dressing got all over it. So um, it's like red wine vinaigrette salad dressing or something. Uh, funny story, I actually got that salad uh, from work, uh, where I work on computers. So uh, full circle ending there, I guess. But um, yeah, so it spilled all over this and yeah. So, well, not all over it, but in the kind of like the chipset area where I'm pointing it. And so, yeah, that's that's what happened there. But it looks to be in pretty good shape. Um, the connector, fan connector is still kind of wet. I don't need the fan connector. That's not a worry. Uh, the CPU socket got a little wet, but I mean, I kind of gave it a bath and rubbing alcohol, so it should be fine. Um, once it dries off a bit more. I'm just going to go over it with a heat gun to get the moisture out of the slots and everything. And um, we will fire it up and see if it works. So you can see we have a really janky setup here. Um, I already recorded this clip and the reason I'm redoing it is because when I hit the switch on the power supply nothing happened. But then I realized this board doesn't have a power button and I had it set to auto start after power failure, but when I removed the clock battery, it, res it might have reset that. Um, so what we're going to be doing is you can see I have two paper clips jammed in the ATX socket on the green pin and a ground pin. And if you short those, that indicates or that like simulates the power button and it turns the system on. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to be doing that, and uh, I'm going to get a lot of hate in the comments for both this complete like sketch of a thing going on and for this whole video uh, which I deserve it because this was like kind of crazy to do anyway so we're gonna hit the switch on the power supply and we are going to short this and the power supply turns on so this board might actually work so I'm gonna set up a monitor and uh, we'll see what happens So we have my monitor here. It's connected over a VGA to the board. Uh, and I'm going to get the power supply and we'll see what happens. That's not a good sign. And the power supply just shut off for some reason. So, um, yeah, looks like the board does indeed not work anymore. So that's unfortunate. It was a pretty nice board. Um, but yeah, so just a few things before I end off the video. The first one is you'll notice my setup is like completely different. That's just a temporary thing. Don't worry about that. Um, the second thing is uh, don't don't give me crap in the comments section. I mean, I know some of you aren't going to do it, but I know some of you are going to do it. Um, I know this was a stupid idea. Um, I went into this project fully understanding that this board might not work at the end or probably wouldn't work at the end, uh, but it was just a cool thing to try, you know? Um, yeah, so I have other 1155 boards laying around that I can use for this. I have a nice other system that I'm setting up for Linux as well. Uh, actually, you might see a video on that pretty soon. Um, but yeah, so just before anyone gives me crap in the comments section, um, I'm not really going to listen to it because everything that you're going to say, I really kind of know. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, with that said, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and uh, I will see you in the next video.